Yo, 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 friends! Welcome back to the channel. Nice to review here back at it again with another Disney Toy Box action figure review. Let's do this! Okay, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Peter Pan, Donald Duck and Goofy, and Captain Hook. Man, this is a great wave. I'm so happy I got these guys. So as you can see, this is 15, 16, and 17 in the wave. All new figures. I got these a couple days ago. And yeah, let's just get right into it, you guys. So uh, I'm just going to get these two off the way. Oop. And uh, bring my uh, Donald and Goofy up just a little bit closer so we can take a look at this packaging. Right off the bat, we have that box window giving us a good full preview of the figures inside with no accessories. What's up with that? On the bottom right, we do have their names as well as the number uh, in the wave they are. Sorry. <laughs> we have the Disney Toy Box logo as well as the Disney Castle on the top right. Um, we do have that little warning for them and uh, for the young kids. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, where to start? We have the portrait on the right side of the box. I love to collect these things. I have a bunch of them in my room. And basically every other figure in the wave. Now I'm glad I got all of them. It wasn't really too hard to track them down. I got them at the Disney store. And as you can see, this is the price here. But this wasn't the price on the Disney store, oddly. It was, it wasn't, this wasn't the price. I'll tell you that. I did not pay $25.99. I paid actually $19. So not too big of a deal. So yeah, let's uh, crack these bad boys open and see what we're working with. Boom! Here they are out of the packaging looking really, really good. For the most part, I think that Captain Hook and Donald Duck are the highlights of these figures. But nonetheless, I love them all. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad to have my Donald Duck and Goofy beside my Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's going to be really cool. And yes, that's Donald Duck dabbing. First off, we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Loving both of these figures, but Captain Hook's a bit more of my favorite just because he's a little more thicker and sturdy. Peter Pan being a little more fragile because of his skinny limbs. Sorry. Anyways, taking a look at Peter Pan first, we do have uh, three points of articulation in each arm. His head is resting on a ball joint. He does have the swivel in the waist. So as you can see, he can swivel back and forth like that. We got him in his typical T-pose. He does have the single jointed elbows and the hinging in the wrist. So pretty good movement on his part. When we're looking at his head, he looks up about that much, looks down about that much. So you got pretty good movement in his head. But when it comes to his legs, uh, his, his shirt kind of uh, overlapping his pants there just really uh, hinders his articulation. As you can see, he can't really go up and down too much, but he can do the splits. He has the single jointed knees and the hinging and the ankles. So he does have that good movement, you guys. He's a really, really great figure. So just gonna put him back there and grab my captain hook. Oh, geez, I can't even put this guy. Um, you know what, Never mind. So taking a look at captain hook, as you can see, he has the swivel in the waist. I really do like that. Also, three uh, points of articulation in each arm. He has the single jointed elbows. And as you can see, he can do the typical T-pose as well. His wrists do swivel, and in this case, his hook. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he doesn't look down too much, but he does look up a little bit. Look side to side. His hair really does hinder it, though. His holster for his weapon and uh, as you can see his jacket also hinders his movement in the legs a little bit but you do get some movement there you got the single jointed knees and you got the hinging in the ankles as well so it's basically the same for him and Peter Pan I just like how he can stand up a little more a little bit more better anyways he has all this detailing here the painting looks pretty fresh not really any uh, nicks and ticks. Well, there's a, a bit here and there, but not too much. I mean, it's a great figure all in all. Loving his pointy mustache. See? And he stands up perfect. Oh, jeez. Just let me try stand these guys up. And they fall down. Taking a look at these accessories, we have Captain Hook's sword and Peter Pan's dagger, respectively. Nice pieces. And then we have Captain Hook's burgundy signature pirate hat with his nice feathered plume there, or 
what a plume feather. You have the engraving here for his head, so that way it fits on his head nice and snug. Pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have Peter Pan's flute. Now there's probably another name for this, I just don't know it, so if there is another name, you know, leave it in the comments below. And that's it in terms of the accessories. So Captain Hook's sword just kind of uh, fits inside of a sheath like this, and it's pretty cool. It's nice and snug. Same thing for Captain Hook's pirate hat. Now as you can see, you just kind of push his hat right on his head like that, like so, and it fits. Same thing with Peter Pan's dagger, just kind of put inside of his little holster. Next up we have Donald Duck and Goofy, my favorite duo in all of Disney. They're going to look so good beside my Mickey Mouse here. Really good. Uh, it just bothers me that they did not come with any accessories at all. So we're going to go ahead and look at the articulation in both of these figures, starting with Donald. First up we have Donald Duck, my favorite duck in all of cartoon history besides Daffy, but that goes without saying, right? Um, great figure, he has a lot of articulation, uh, particularly in his legs and his arms. His legs only has two points of articulation, and uh, his head is resting on a ball joint, so you got some freedom right there. He does look up uh, quite a bit. Well, actually not too much, but he does look up, and he looks down way more. Uh, his head is kind of squeaky, going right and left like that. It, it, I just muted it so you can't really hear the squeakiness. The arms go up and down quite a bit. He does have the single jointed elbows as you can see here. His wrists are hinged so uh, they can swivel but it's a little hard to move it at the moment. You got the swivel in the waist area. That's quite, kind of essential with all your figures. And like I said he has two points of articulation in his legs. His ankles uh, basically laying on those uh, hinge joints as well as his, uh, his uh, thigh area. So he has a lot of movement, you guys. Okay, finally we have Goofy. What to say about Goofy? He has um, three points of articulation in each arm. His head's resting on the ball joint. He has the slit in the waist and three points of articulation in his lower legs. So taking a look at him, you got the typical T-pose. A lot of movement, nice freedom here. He has the single jointed elbows as well as the hinging in the wrist. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, my Goofy tends to get marked up on the wrist here by his uh, his sleeves, his orange sleeves. Just leaves an ugly orange marking on the gloves, and it, it's a little bothersome at times. Only when you notice it. Uh, you got the nice uh, slit in the wrist, or the waist, sorry, in the wrist. <laughs> um, and as you can see, you can kind of extend his legs to make him stand a little more taller. His ankles are a little loose though, um, they kind of do uh, flop forward and backward. Um, he's not really too sturdy in terms, but he can do the splits, so that's pretty cool. In terms of head movement, he looks up about that much, and he doesn't really look down too much, but his head is resting on a ball joint, so um, you do have resistance when going left and right. A little bit of this squeaky noise that I kind of blocked out so you don't have to hear it. And yes, I love this Goofy, you guys. Alright, you guys, here's my final shot of all of the Disney characters that I've acquired over the months, the year, whatever. I do want some more Disney uh, villains like Jafar, Oogie Boogie, Maleficent, uh, maybe even Ursula. Um, but yeah, you know, we need more Disney villains. Looking for those Disney villains. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like the review, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment if you guys will. You guys know the drill. I am out of here. Peace out.